Now, as promised, uh, um, I promised I would break the story. I would I would get a big fact check on an incredible, um, uh, a disturbing misrepresentation of reality, misrepresentation of the facts. We all know Dave Rubin is not known for uh, his strong intellect and adherence to factual information, but. You know, uh, uh, Dave Rubin really stepped in it this time because he has tried to speak with authority on uh, something that he obviously has no expertise or authority in. So let's hear this qu uh, this clip really quick from uh, shared by Benj the great Benjamin Dixon, but from uh, dummy Dave Rubin. What is virtue? Every movie that you love, think of your favorite movie right now. Think of the great adventure movies of all time. Luke Skywalker didn't look for someone else to blow up the Death Star. He went ahead and did it. You know what I mean? Frodo didn't be like, oh, where, where's the ring? Where's the ring? Could somebody take this ring and get it to Mordor and drop it in the thing for me? No, he did it. He didn't just sit there as the victim. He, It's everything. Neo, what did Neo do? You know what Neo did. So, uh, you know, Dave Rubin is trying to, um, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, he... He, he doesn't know enough to really c connect all these things when he's trying to make these dumb libertarian points. But I didn't know he had prop comedy experience. You guys see him Star hold Wars, the ring up? Look for someone else to blow. When he talks about Frodo and the ring, because is what we're talking about. We're talking about Lord of the Rings. Um, look at how he holds oh, up the Star. ring. He went ahead and did it. You know what I mean? Frodo didn't be like, oh, where, where's the ring? Where's the ring? Could somebody take this ring and get it to... He had the ring already off of his finger, if that's his wedding band. Uh, uh, good for him. You know, he, like, <laughs> he was ready for this. This was a bit. He probably, you know, he ran this by somebody. He had it ready. But uh, let's hear what he says. Oh, oh is it the ring? Of Frodo and the ring? Could somebody take this ring and get it to Mordor and drop it in the thing for me? No, he did it. So, Fro did Frodo say, can anybody take the ring? Can anybody do this for me? I don't want to do it. Frodo didn't do that. You're absolutely wrong, Dave Rubin. Either uh, you're an idiot or you're a liar. I think it's uh, the answer is yes uh, to both. Um, because guess what? If you know anything, and guys, I am an expert. Okay, I have. Uh, if you can see it, whoa, whoa, whoa. I have um, whoa, the Tree of Gondor tattooed to my arm. I have multiple copies of the Lord of the Rings in this bookshelf. I for several years I read it every year. I'm trying to read different like reality now. When you know more about Middle Earth geography than you do the geography of the real world, it might be a problem. Okay, and that's kind of where I was years ago in my early twenties. Um, but here is uh, clear video evidence of Frodo. Uh, asking someone to take the ring. Baggins. But that would lead them here. Uh huh. The Nazgul, the nine riders, right? Take it, Gandalf. Take it. No, Frodo. No. You must take it. <laughs> there you go. That's Gan. Uh, that's Frodo asking Gandalf to take the ring. Gandalf, please take the ring, right? So, uh, you know, I I, I understand. Maybe. Maybe uh, Dave Rubin didn't didn't see uh, the first movie in the trilogy, The Lord of the Rings. I know he hasn't read the book, um, but uh, really quick, I love Gandalf's reaction here. Ian McClellan is is a, is a king. Whoops! Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. Take it. No, sir, no. You must take it. You cannot offer me this ring. I'm giving it to you. Don't tempt me, Frodo. Don't tempt me, Frodo. Right? Uh, uh, what is it? I would become so powerful. He's so good. Understand, Frodo. Understand, Frodo. I would use this ring from a desire to do good, but through me, it would wield such an evil. Right? He's amazing. He's incredible. But guys, this isn't the only time. This is not the only time that Frodo asked someone else to take the ring. It wasn't just Gandalf, one of the most powerful Maiar spirits uh, uh, in, in all of uh, Middle Earth. Right? He literally went to uh, you know one of the the Queen of the Eldar, Galadriel. You will try to take the ring. She's all psychic. She's she's talking with him telepathically. And then he's like, oh, shoot, will you take the ring? You know of whom I speak. One by one, it will destroy them all. He's talking about Boromir. Boromir's gonna fuck your shit up, Frodo. Look out for that fool. If you ask it of me, I will give you. I will give you the one ring. Oh, there it is. Hey, will you take the ring? <laughs> and then she gets all like, uh... 
She gets all horny for it, guys. I don't know if you've seen I this. I desired scene. this. I have desired this. What does she say? In place of a dark lord, you are the queen. queen! Not dark, but beautiful and terrible as a lord! Yeah, bro. Anyway, so yeah. Frodo was a little bitch. Frodo didn't want to take the ring. He needed help. He needed help. Gandalf helped him get as far as he did. Galadriel uh, gave him the elven cloaks that, that uh, you know, disguise him. This is the illusion that the right wing exists under all the time. That, you know, people pull themselves up by the brute straps and they do brave stuff and to get shit done. We get shit done uh, by ourselves. Me and mine uh, don't tread on me, right? When we're all in this together, this is a society we're living in, right? Frodo did not get this uh, uh, done all by himself. He needed everybody's help, right? Uh, he asked Gandalf for help. Um, he asked uh, uh, Galadriel for help. Um, you know, he, he was not alone at any step of the way. I mean, there might have been times where, where he, he, you know, kind of tried to go off on his own. But he was never alone. Why? Because Sam was there too. Oh, and I seem to remember. I seem to remember uh, something else happening. Right? Right? Hold on. Let me. They, they talk a lot at this point. There's a lot of talking. What does he say? Carry it for you, Frodo. What does he say? I can't carry it for you. But I can't carry you! Oh my gosh! Literally, Frodo couldn't make it on his own. This dude picks him up and carries him. Oh! Imagine that! And if you don't even remember that, Frodo gets to the top of the... He gets to the mouth of Orodrum. The, the uh, uh, you know... Uh, the, uh, the volcano, as it's known in the Black Speech of Mordor. Right? Uh, Mount Doom. In the common tongue. And... He stands there in front of it, and he's about to throw it in. And what is he? He doesn't do it. Frodo failed. Frodo failed. That was a bumper sticker back in the 70s. Frodo failed. Um, and it was Gollum, through his greed, trying to get the ring off, bites his finger off, all that stuff. He falls in with the ring, um, that the ring is even destroyed. So this idea that uh, uh, you know Frodo is this hero, and he just does it all by himself. He's a tragic figure. And, um, you know, in a sense, we all are trying to uh, survive this fucked up world and we need each other. We need solidarity and we need collectivism to solve the problems. Wh who's the one hero who's going to solve climate change? That's a collective problem that we all uh, and our, really our societies and, and people who came before us as well are responsible for. We are collectively responsible for it. It takes a collective response. And it's not a surprise that, uh, you know, Dave Rubin, like, that's about the most like intellectual shit he ever says is collectivism and individualism. Oh, um, let's see. H word with the Lord of the Rings knowledge. And let's be real. The Atari skill set is likely better for fighting evil than a hobbit. I don't know, man. I got, I got some debate on that shit. Uh, evil Yoda, uh, uh, says, uh, let's see. Sounds like gold. Can we play that? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Jay and Jerrold, David Bowie audition for Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um, H word Galadriel is all sorts of ambitious. I mean, she crossed the hell Karaks on foot. She's a total badass. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. And, um, you know, the, the Simmerals, right. As, as you would know, if you've read the Cimmerillion, um, uh, uh, Feanor captured the light of, both of the great trees, Telperion and Nimloth, right? The gold and the silver trees. He captured the light of both of them in the Simmeral, so they shone with the golden light and the silver light. And he said he was inspired by Galadriel's hair, that he was obsessed with Galadriel, wanted to marry her, and that he looked at her hair and saw the gold and the silver in her hair. So, um, yeah, Galadriel, very powerful. Um, Frodo needed help from everybody to get uh, uh, to Mordor, even Gollum, you know, a, a little old man tortured by the power of the ring, um, only kept alive after being, uh, you know, had a, having hit 
taken from him, only kept alive by his lust for it, right? Why does Bilbo get all old and, you know, is like, you know, Methuselah by the end of it? Because he let the ring go. So this is my argument with you, H-Word, about hobbits, uh, you know, are his Tari more powerful than um, than uh, hobbits? Well, Saruman the White, he was, uh, he was completely twisted by Sauron and the evil and his lust for power in the ring. And the hobbits themselves uh, had more resilience against the ring. Bilbo was one of the only people in all of Middle Earth to ever give up the one ring of power. And he left it to Frodo. Took some convincing. He got a little upset with Gandalf. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, uh, you know, to do it. But he did it. And so did Sam. Sam carried the ring for a whole portion of it after Frodo uh, gets, uh, you know, stung by Shelob. He didn't even have the ring. Sam has the ring. Sam was a ring bearer as well. And he willingly gave it to Frodo. So that is what uh, Dave Rubin, you know, Dave Rubin, uh, he can lie about economics and libertarian bullshit and he can spout all that nonsense. But he is, I am not going to stand. I will not stand for lies and propaganda about what went down in Middle Earth because uh, I just can't. I cannot abide it. I can't abide it.